We are live, we are live, unoriginal FC, back in the car. And it's been a minute, well not necessarily a minute, but it's been about a week, just over a week since I last uh, provided a video for you guys. So, you know, I do apologise for that. It's been a little bit of a busy week, but your boy is back. Shout out to the gang, to the lit house. My brother Rev, my brother Self, May Zuccario, uh, my brother, my brother Malik, my brother Sean Bless. Barch and the guys, you know what I'm saying? The net or queen. Subscribe to my people, man. Subscribe to my people. We've been on fire lately. You know, Malik's been dropping back to back to back. My brother, King Hughes Lit at the Lit House Rev, he's been going crazy with not only NBA talk, but Jackson State football. Man, hey, we're going crazy. We're going crazy. But I know, I know you guys see the title. I know you guys see the title. It's, 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 it hurts. It hurts. It's, it's not an easy conversation that we're about to have, but it's a conversation that nonetheless is needed. We believe Lamelo Ball is one of one. However, does the league believe so? Do the Charlotte Hornets believe so? The reason I ask this is because the things that have happened in the last few days, um, the communications that have been put out by the Charlotte Hornets, by these media companies like Bleach Report and, and The Athletic, it is becoming increasingly clear that the Charlotte Hornets do not view Lamelo Ball as a franchise guy. Well, when I say becoming incre increasingly clear, from the Hornets' standpoint, we, we've known we've known from day one that they've never really viewed Lamelo Ball as a franchise guy because how, how, how could you? We're in this third season now and there's been nothing but malpractice around surrounding the, the development of Lamelo Ball as an NBA player. It's been absolute malpractice from, from the Hornets' organisational standpoint. You know, coming into the NBA, they refused to give him his number one. They made him play out with the number two shirt. Disrespect from the, from the jump. They had him coming off the bench from, for Devontae Graham, a 5'11 guard who's about to be out of the league. This is somebody who Lamelo Ball was starting behind for half of his first season. In his second year, we saw the organisation deliberately cut his minutes whilst he was in a race to, to, to game votes for, for All-Star, for the All-Star game. And whilst he, he ended up making the All-Star game via Adam, Sil Adam Silver personally choosing him, it was clear to see that the Hornets did everything in their power to prevent the Mellow Ball being an All-Star. Now, do these sound like actions of a team that believes you're the franchise player? No, it screams of an organisation that is doing everything in their power to set you up to fail. The latest, the latest transgression was waving LaMelo Ball from the roster. As of today, LiAngelo Ball is no longer a member of the Charlotte Hornets roster. Now, whether, whether LiAngelo Ball is anywhere near being an NBA-level player or whether he struggles out there on a the G League court, that, that doesn't matter. Nobody gives a fuck. Um, that does not fucking matter if you believe that Lamelo Ball is your franchise player. Because if Lamelo Ball is your franchise player, my nigga, you can give Leandro Ball that 15th man, that 15th roster spot. Nobody gives a fuck about them roster spots from like, from like spot 14 to, to, to 15 to 16 or was it 15 on a roster? So from spots 13 to 15. Nobody gives a fuck about them guys. Them guys are just, they're just, they're just names on a bench. You know what I mean? They're just there to keep the seat warm. You understand? If Lamelo Ball is your franchise player, if you view Lamelo Ball as your franchise player, then Lazio Ball would have been a Charlotte Hornet in his in Lamelo Ball's rookie year. Fuck out of here, man. He'd have been a Hornet in in Lamelo's rookie year. If you believe that's your franchise player, right? At least by the second year, we're in year three now, and the Hornets will turn around. And basically told Lamelo Ball, here, we don't fucking believe in you. 
we ain't hitching our wagon to you. So we're about, we're about to go ahead and just, just get rid of your brother right quick. Just, just, we're just going to toss him to the side. Ultimately, the reason why the Hornets clearly do not believe in LaMelo Ball as their franchise player, it has become obvious that the Hornets are all in now on the Victor Wembanyama sweepstakes. And I hope I've got his surname correct, Wembanyama. But the Hornets are doing everything in their power to go and get Victor Wembanyama. And they've been plotting this. They made no moves in the off-season. We kept asking, why? How could you not make no moves seeing as everyone around in the East is getting better? And it has finally become clear as to why they did not make no moves. Because they are, they are preparing to tank. They're preparing to tank. With the loss of Miles Bridges, that roster that they currently have, especially with no Lamelo Ball if he's out for considerable time with that ankle, that's a team ready for the tank. You have Gordon Haywood with, with his expiring contract. Tay Rozier, ugh, fucking bum. But they're about to get rid of Gordon Haywood after this year, I believe. The contract's expiring. So they'll have cap space. They brought in Theo Malden, who is, a, I believe, a former teammate of Victor Wambanyama. He's played with Victor Wambanyama for France, I think. So that's somebody that, that Victor Wambanyama has a relationship with, that he's comfortable with. These are moves that the Hornets are already making now, just, just, to, have, just to be in with a chance to get Victor Wambanyama. Clear indications that Victor Wambanyama is the guy that they look at as their franchise. And whilst I, you know, I don't necessarily disagree that Victor Wambanyama projects to be higher than the middle ball, just based off of his, his frame and his skill set, it just lets you know that this is a team that has never believed in the middle ball. This is a team that, now seeing Victor Wambanyama, already are ready to toss Lamelo Ball out to the side and tell him to get the F out of there just with a chance to get Victor and Benyama. They may not even get Victor and Benyama, but just for the chance to be involved, just for the chance to, to be able to select Victor and Benyama, they are ready to go ahead and shit on Lamelo Ball and, and, and shit on everything he's done for this franchise and get him the fuck out of there just for a chance of Victor and Benyama. You see all the articles coming out in the last few days about, oh, can Lamelo Ball win with his team? Is Lamelo Ball a winner? Is he a leader? Question marks already. Already trying to slander the man's name. Trying to typecast him as a number two. And these are things that, that, the, league, that, that the, the league's representatives, and when I say representatives, the mouthpieces of the league, the media, this is what the mouthpieces of the media, the mouthpieces of the NBA are saying. Is Lamello, they have all these questions surrounding Lamelo Ball and the Hornets organisation are not only echoing those sentiments, they are encouraging those sen sentiments. Encouraging it. Sorry, encouraging it. Do you understand? Do you understand the disrespect? So yes, we may all believe Lamelo Ball is one of one. I believe truly he's one of one. I believe he is a number one. I believe he is a franchise guy. I believe he is somebody with the situational situational basketball, more development in situational basketball, could absolutely be something that could take you to the promised land. And so whilst I believe that, and whilst, you know, I believe the majority of, of, of people watching my videos and the videos at the Lit House believe this about the Mellow Ball, unfortunately, the harsh reality is the league doesn't view him that way and the Charlotte Hornets most definitely do not, move, do not, do not view him that way. Now, from the league's perspective, this can, this can still be changed. But in order to do that, the Mellow Ball would have to do some pretty fucking extraordinary shit this season and take these niggas to the playoffs. And with the team that the Rosses have deliberately set up for the Mellow to have the keys with, it's a fucking trap. It's a trap. Because them, man, they are scrubs. They stink. It's, it's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate, you know? The guy has generational talent. The guy has a 6'7 point guard who can do everything on the court. 
it's just minor things he just needs to develop on and men mentally he needs to develop. But he has all the makings of somebody that could take you to a championship. I mean, how can you think different? Unfortunately, the Hornets have never viewed him that way. And all these three years where they've they've had Lamelo Ball and they've you know they've slow rolled him and they've obstructed him at every corner, at every turn. All whilst they've been doing that, a pimp named Mitch back, and that Hornets front office have been plotting for three years to put themselves in position just to have a chance to draw Victor and Banyama. This is damning. It's a damning indictment on the mellow ball, unfortunately. Fairly or unfairly, it is a damning indictment on the mellow ball. And it is one that shows you that the Hornets do not view the mellow ball as a franchise guy. And 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 the league possibly don't view the mellow ball as a franchise guy. It sucks. But that's the game. With that being said, listen man, it's good to it's good to, to you know to make this video for you guys. Um Unfortunate, you know, that these things need to be said. But, again, these conversations need to be had. And I'm not going to show cold nothing for you. I may like the mellow ball. I may fuck with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? I definitely fuck with his basketball. You understand? I definitely believe he is him. But the truth is the league doesn't, 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 doesn't think he's him. I mean, the Hornets don't think he's him. Hey man, Unoriginal FC over and out. Appreciate you guys as always.